This is on purpose, by the way. It's a, an artistic statement. Creative choice is what I meant. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my life. Today, I wanted to show my growing film camera collection. I have a ton of cameras here and I'm gonna show each one and when I got it, where I got it, and a little bit about it. If this interests you, you can keep watching. And if it doesn't, you can go do something more productive. I've been collecting film cameras since I was in my second year of college, I think. I've always found film cameras interesting. I didn't learn film at school, but there's something about it now that I've shot some film. I can't put my finger on it, and I feel like a lot of people think the same way. It's just that look. My first one is this guy. It's a Minolta X700. I got this one from one of my friends in college's uncle. He had one and he gave it to her and she brought it to school and I was like, oh, this is like the coolest thing. Like I love film cameras. And he happened to have another one and he just gave it to me. It has a TCL light meter, but it's not automatic. So the focus is manual and you have to crank it to bring the film forward. I do have a roll of film in here that I don't really know what I shot. I'm at 20, so it'll be a surprise. I guess I have to finish it because I have a roll of 24. There's a special place in my heart for this one because it is my first film camera. Next one is probably my heaviest film camera and my biggest and the one that I was the most excited to buy. It's this Polaroid land camera. Looks like this. Uh, when it's open and then you close it. I don't know if this is how you do it, but you, ow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's how you push down the little things and then it closes like that. It's got some weight to it. It's at least, at least three pounds, maybe five. I got this one at a flea market. I remember it cost me $70 because I thought that it was a pretty expensive camera to buy for something that didn't work. Honestly, it probably works. I just don't wanna test it because Polaroid film is so expensive. And I don't wanna pay $30 for like 10 exposures just to have it not work and then that's it, I wasted $30. Press it and then it pops open and then it sticks. I got this one the same day. It's a lot smaller and it was a lot cheaper. It's a Kodak Instamatic. It says made in Canada. And it's just like this really tiny camera. <laughs> and I just thought it looked cool. My dad was like, why do you want that? I'm like, well, look at it. It's so, so cool. And again, I don't think this one works. And it opens just like that, so that's where the film would go. I think again, I got two of these at the same time. These also I got at flea markets. This one I bought because I liked the way it looked. I thought that it looked like a typical film camera and I love Canon. I am a sucker for Canon and I tested it, it doesn't work. I used a roll of film and it came back blank. I can't remember how much I paid. It was probably another like $40 or something. But yeah, I just like the look of it. It's like, if you think of film camera, you think of this with like the silver on top and then like the middle black. It's one of my favorite looking ones. This is just a dust collector on my shelf, <laughs> but it looks pretty, so. There's nothing in here. And the same day I got that one, I got this other Canon which is this one. This one I haven't gotten to test because I need a new battery and I haven't found one. It's a Canon Rebel EOS and they actually make Canon Rebels in digital form now, like my first camera that I talked about in my photography journey video. My Canon T2i was a Rebel camera and they kind of look similar. Like if you look at this, you wouldn't think that this is a film camera until you look at the back and you don't see anything. There is a roll of film in here. I don't think it was mine. <laughs> I think it was the person that I bought it from. It, there was film in there, so maybe I'll dig deeper and try to find a battery so I can develop it and see <laughs> who took pictures on here. This has manual and autofocus on the lens, so I'm assuming this is an automatic focus camera, which would be really sick. 
and it came with a 35 to 80 lens, which is very odd. That doesn't really come up with digital 35 to 80. It's usually 24 to 70 or 24 to 105. But so that's this one. Again, I can't remember how much I paid, but it couldn't have been more than like 50 bucks. My next one I also got at a flea market and it's this brownie reflex. You take the picture like this, um, but you don't look through it in the back. You actually lift this part up and you look through the top down. So you take pictures like you would look down into the lens, which is on the top. You look through here, but the lens to take the picture is actually here. And then to take the picture, the shutter is down here on the side. This is another one that's made in Canada, Canadian Kodak. So I really like the look of these. Uh, brownies were always really cool to me. I've never actually taken pictures with any, but they just look so cool. Like who like looks through the top to take a picture? Like, oh, I wish it worked. I, one day I'm gonna buy one and it's gonna work. This next one, I think I got on Virage sale. I found this Kodak Teledisc camera. I've never used it. I don't know how to. And I have the film that goes with it here. And I'm pretty sure I'll insert a picture because I don't want to open this. But I'm pretty sure the film looks like one of those like flip through. You put it like against your eyes and then you flip through it and then it's like little pictures that like kind of go by. Who knows if I will ever use these. I don't know when this was bought, but it was $5 for a roll of film, which is very cheap. Well, it must have been bought in 1991 or before because this expired in July of 1991. <laughs> I just thought it was cool because I've never seen one before. Ah, it opens. And this is where you take the picture, this, this thing, this little button. So the next two cameras I'm grouping together, but I did get them at different times but they're gonna to be together because they're the same camera. <laughs> this is the Nikon F801. There's just no lens with it because it's on my other one, which is the exact same thing. So I have two of the same thing and they were both gifted to me. <laughs> this one I got from a photographer that I work with and this one I got from one of my dad's coworkers and friends. I am, again, forever grateful for people gifting me cameras. These cameras I've used probably the most out of all of them. I've taken them on vacation. I've taken them on shoots. When I started using film a lot more, it was this camera. I really love it. I do have only two Nikon lenses, which is why there's none on this one and it's on the other one. So that's the only thing that I would need to get to be able to use this more. So this one's probably my favorite by default because it's just the one I've been using the most. It's automatic for the TTL. It has an internal light meter, which is nice, but the focus is manual, which is fine. It's not a big deal. And it also advances the film automatically. The next camera is probably the coolest one that I own. It's another brownie camera. It just looks like a box. <laughs> It's so cool. Like I saw it and I couldn't, I couldn't not buy it. I got this at a flea market and it's just so, it's a box, but it takes pictures. Like, are you kidding? It's in very nice condition. Like there's not one scratch on it. It's insane that this can take a picture. So like the other brownie, the viewfinder is this thing on top here for portraits and if you want to take it landscape you just turn it and there's another one here you're kidding me i can't even describe how cool this is to me it's this is definitely the coolest camera that i have i freaking wish i had something that i could take a picture like i wish i had film or any knowledge on how to use it but i don't so it just sits there and it looks pretty okay we're getting to the end i have three more cameras <laughs> these next two i got at the same time and I got them because I was supposed to have a birthday party with all my friends and I wanted to take pictures with disposables, but those kind of get expensive. So I figured I wanted more of like a point and shoot film camera. I found this one and it's just a point and shoot camera. There's no adjustable lenses. You don't adjust the exposure. I actually have a roll of film in here that I think is almost done. I'm at 36 exposures 
and I have a roll of 36 in there, so I might have one or two pictures left. I've never gotten a roll developed, so if I do, I'll put some pictures in from this roll that's in there right now. It's very, very simple. This one I paid $42 for. And the next one, which is the same thing, it's just another point and shoot kind of camera, is this one and I paid $50 for it. You might look at this and think, that's a video camera, but it's not. This is another one of the coolest cameras I've ever seen. Not a video camera, it's a picture camera for film. And I've never seen it in my life before. You look through the back like you would if you were taking a video, but it's a picture camera. And the way that you turn it on is you actually open up the lens cap and then this becomes a flash, the inside lens cap, and then your camera's on. It's so cool. It's called the Canon Fotura and it's a zoom lens 35 to 105 which is insane these two i got at the same time at the same place from a small business in montreal called new wave pool they have so many different cameras so if you're in montreal or anywhere really in canada check them out and then they deliver or you can pick up for free my last camera i got recently this was another one that was gifted to me by one of my dad's friends slash co-workers and it's this Nikon F100. This is basically like the film camera equivalent of a DSLR, and it was gifted to me. I can't believe how nice people are. Like I can't, I can't believe it. I'm so excited to use this one. Again, no other lens, but I'll probably use my other Nikon lens with it. You would think that it's just another DSLR. Like it, but it's film camera. <laughs> There's obviously more settings. Incredible, amazing. I can't, I can't thank everybody who's ever gifted me a camera enough. This is my newest camera and I have a feeling it's gonna be my new favorite camera. My top three favorite cameras. This is very difficult because <laughs> I really like all of them. They're like all my children. I don't wanna like single them out. Going for looks. This one is just so cool to me. Like I just can't get over it. Definitely this one and my Polaroid holds a special place in my heart. These are my three favorites, favorite children. Don't tell my others. That concludes my camera collection, my film camera collection. Just quick little shout outs to places in Montreal that you can go to for film stuff. Like I said before, New Wave Pool, I'll link their website below. I get all my pictures developed at Photo Saint Denis. You could also go to Photo Service. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know. If you didn't, you can also let me know. I don't care. And if you liked this video and you wanna see more of me, you can subscribe to my channel. If you wanna check out more of my work, you can check out my Instagram or my website. They'll both be linked below. And until next time, I will see you when I see you. Bye. <laughs>